If you're looking for things to do in Rosarito, aka Playas de Rosarito, then you're in the right video. Keep watching. Now we are at Las Rocas Hotel Resort. And you can miss this hotel because it's right in front of Jesus, the ginormous Jesus, so it's right in front of it. And we are at Café del Mar, and we're gonna order the famous chilaquiles, because actually everybody's eating chilaquiles right now, and I wanna try it, and well, we'll see. We heard the chilaquiles, like my wife said, they're delicious, so we're gonna try them out. They have the green sauce, the red sauce, chipotle, or the mole. And I'm gonna try the green, I think. She's gonna try the red. You do not have to be staying at Las Rocas Hotel to eat here. All you have to do is let the security guy know in the front that you're just coming to the restaurant and they'll let you right in. I'm gonna try the green chilaquiles. And so far they look delicious. They are not spicy, they are really good. We got the red chilaquiles and the chipotle chilaquiles. Red chilaquiles are good to go. I'm gonna try the chipotle one. Also delicious. Good. Since we're here, we decided to check out the pool. So let's go look. Just went to Baja Studios. For those who don't know, the most popular movie that they recorded there is actually Titanic. So they did record it there since it's right next to the ocean. They had those shots where the ship was, uh, you know, sinking. We went to go see if they still do tours. Uh, we went to the website and we couldn't find anything. So we actually came in person and the guy told us that there is no more tours. Uh, he said last time there was a tour, it was like 10 years ago. He says that they still record movies and people rent out that area. It is closed. You guys cannot go in there. Every time we come to Rosarito, we park at the Rosarito Beach Hotel because it's very secure and because the parking is pretty cheap. If you want to get an iconic picture of the Rosarito sign that has all the nice colors on it for Instagram, it's right next to the front entrance of a Hotel Rosarito. From the main entrance of the hotel, there are signs that you can follow to go to the pool or to go to the beach. This is a great hotel to stay at. We just did a day trip today, so we're not staying here. We were able to make it to the pool and we don't have a room key or wristband or anything. So they do let you all the way back into the pool without staying here. If you're trying to get to the pier, it is restricted. You cannot go on the pier. It's locked on all directions. But the good news is they're supposed to be reconstructing it. That way cruise ships could come here to Rosarito instead of just going to Ensenada. Another thing to do, they have ponies here and they have horses. So if you're into horseback riding, it's 10 US dollars for 30 minutes and you just go around the beach area and come right back. Don't think they're just gonna let you out there with a the horse by yourself. They do have a guide that comes with you. Make sure everything's okay. Make sure the horses are listening and everything like that. So that's something to do. And if you're not into horseback riding, they also have quads or better known as ATVs. 
so you could jump on the quad. Let's go check out the quads. So if you don't want to go horseback riding, the quads are $25 for 30 minutes. Do not forget to bring your bikini because you could always come to the beach and take a dip in the water. There is a lot of people here today that's unusual. It's because it's a holiday three day weekend in the summertime. So you might not see this many people when you come, but it is nice and everybody's having a good time out here. Do not worry if you didn't bring your boogie board or your surfboard because they do have rentals here on the beach. Most people watching this video is probably from San Diego or LA or Orange County. Myself, I'm from San Diego and you cannot drink on the beach in San Diego, but here in Rosarito, you sure can. And actually, let me know where you're watching this video from the comments down below. Just let me know what city and state you live in or what country you're watching this from. If you buy something at Rosarito Beach Hotel, you actually get your ticket validated and you don't have to pay anything for parking. We made it to Villa Ortega. It's a 25 minute drive from Rosarito Beach Hotel. Somebody's laughing in the background because they're having a good time here and so are we. And I want to let you know that it is free parking if you come here. This is the lobster capital of all of Mexico actually. And we always have lobster, we have the shrimp, we have ceviche. All that is good to go, whatever you guys want to order. I think I'm going to have the fish ceviche. What are you going to have, Chica? I think this time I'm going to switch it for a shrimp cocktail. Ah, nice choice. Mm -hmm. And just to let you know, you need to bring cash because they don't accept cars or checks. Bring your money, people. Bring the money. romantic and you want to get your girlfriend or wifey a song you could do it right here with mariachi fresh delicious like always right here via ortega You can see the wall of fame right behind me. That's where all the celebrities, when they come, they take a picture and they put them up on the wall here. That seafood was delicious, but like I said, it's 25 minutes out. So I think it's definitely worth it. You should guys should give it a try, especially if it's your first time out here. We are now in the tourist district of Rosarito or Zona Rosarito and we're going to go check out what they have here. We are on Nogal Street and that's where they have all the bars. They have a bunch of different bars actually and it's the entrance into Papas and Beer. So if you want to make it to Papas and Beer, go down Nogal. Crazy people just drinking and partying right here on the street. Yeah, it looks really fun and they have a lot of restaurants as well. And this street goes straight to the beach too. So you need to definitely check it out. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go in Papa's and Beer. I'm not gonna be able to talk too much because of the music and copyright infringement, but I will be in there recording so you guys can check it out. So 
we went to the number one taco spot, which is El Yaki, and they closed at 5 p.m. And we were so disappointed because we were craving the tacos there. But now we are at number two taco spot, which is Tacos El Norteño, and it's right next to the Zona Rosarito sign. And you're gonna find it there, and they're also delicious. Not as delicious as El Yaki, but we're gonna make do right here. I wanna know where you guys go when you come to Rosarito as far as restaurants, as far as hotels go. Any questions, please comment box below. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Do not forget to subscribe so you get more cool videos like this one right here.